right guys, so welcome in. We got a handful of stuff right here. And we are just about ready to uh, start this tune. Just got a couple of jobs to take care of first. Number one, you always wanna have some type of uh, charge system on the battery. So this is a jump pack that I use. Um, pretty simple little device, it was like $50 off Amazon. Just use traditional jumper cables with it. So that'll be plugged into the battery. I need to unplug the fan. Uh, and then after that, I'll just get the Galetto cable plugged into the OBD2 port. And the other side's going to the laptop. And that's where we will use the software to upload the tune file onto the MO55. So let's go ahead and jump into the engine bay. And first things first, we got to disconnect the fan all the way. connections is a little tough to get off there you guys can see that now it's gonna be a tiny little it's like a torx like a really small torx too big it's pretty small so let's try one of these smaller ones right here Feels like it'll work. Try this out. Hopefully this thing isn't on too tight because all I got is this thing. Okay, no it's not. Easy. Don't know if this thing is captive or not. on it. Alright, that should be good. Black for negative, red for positive. Alright, there it goes. Um, so, oops, sorry, hitting you guys on things. Unplug that real quick, unplug this in. There's a light that comes on on it. I don't know if you can see that, the blue light on my hands, but it's coming on. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Let's make sure I got my key. Put that in. Now, let's go ahead and open this thing up. We're gonna open up EOB D1260. Um, this is a software that interfaces with the Galetto cable. And you can see right there, it pops up ME 2.0, which is what we want for this car. If you're a 2000 or earlier, uh, AMG, uh, like E55 or things like that, you're probably gonna be ME 2.0. Um, I don't know if the 2001 E55, I don't know if they switched it over or not. Uh, I think they did, but anyways, we're going to go into, uh, all right, so the GoPro officially died. You guys saw that. Uh, but anyways, what I was saying, um, we're in the software interface right now and what we need to do, I'm going to go to open file and I'm probably not going to be able to record this. Maybe I can actually Let's set this down over here. <clears throat> We're going to go to open file and I'm going to find the tune that Tony sent me over right here, M155 stage one and we'll go open and in order for me to download this, I need to switch a key to position two. So that means all lights are on the dash and turn that off. And we're going to go to download file. So before the program set, 
pin B3 ECU to 12 volt and check the tension is at least 13 volts. So that's a reminder to make sure your charging system is good. That's why we have that uh, battery pack, jump pack on the uh, battery itself. Nani? All right, guys, coming in for a voiceover at this point because this is where things got tricky and I want to explain the steps on how we bypassed uh, this problem that was occurring in the first place. So as you saw there, we were getting a right speed error. The way I was able to bypass this was by basically jumping pins 16 and one on the backside of the OBD2 connector, uh, like you can see in this picture. Um, but it had to come at you know a certain stage and cycling the key as well. So basically, before I was um, going to hit download, I had pin 16 ready with one side of the wire. And when I hit download, and then before I press OK on that B3 prompt, I connected it to pin 1, so they were now jumped. And then I cycled the key from zero position to last position three times. And after that, I waited while it was in last position for about 45 seconds. Now, the reason for doing this, as uh, Tony explained, is because the ME 2.0s need time to boot up, basically. Basically, after it booted up, I went and press OK on that prompt. And then the download began immediately. And it honestly went really fast, um, faster than the C55 actually for the download. So once it was working, it was a quick process, but it just needed, you know, a little bit of magic to get it working, I guess. And the steps might sound silly, but that's just what worked. So hopefully this will help you um, if you're trying to tune an MP ME 2.0. And uh, the biggest part of it, I would think, something I would like to go back and test if it was untuned was trying the key cycling and waiting that 45 seconds. Um, maybe it's possible that I wouldn't have had to jump the 16 to one on the OBD2 connector, but no way to know for sure now because I didn't test that uh, in between. Although I did test many methods um, before we got to this final solution. So anyways, back to the video, hopefully that helps. All right, guys, I don't know if this worked or not, but I think it did. Um, you have no idea the trial and error that I've been going through the past few days to get this to work. We're jumping over from the last uh, GoPro and iPhone footage that you guys saw, which was a few days ago, actually. Um, basically had to jump the pins uh, 16 and one on the OBD2 port uh, on the back side of it and had to go through like a special sequence. Um, so I'm gonna verify this is working before I jump all the way to the finish line. But once I do, I will give you guys a complete walkthrough of what uh, Tony and I came up with for a plan. Well, mostly Tony came up with the final solution. Um, he's a master, he's a wizard. So big shout out to him uh, and yeah. Race IQ stage one tune on the M155 at this point. Um, possibly, I believe so. So, gotta verify though. All right, guys. So, for whatever reason, this ECU, even before we tuned it, it was having trouble uh, when I just hit like ECU data, um, having trouble displaying the numbers. Like, it'll run all the way through and then it will just say ECU number not found. So, I thought I was gonna be able to do that and verify. The tune file but looks like that wasn't the case but everything seemed smooth just like it was on the c55 as far as uploading the tune so i'm just gonna have to go on the butt dyno on this one and go out for a drive and see if i notice a difference um yeah so that's where we're at right now so let's do it all right guys well excuse the sketchy vibes but um yeah time to go test it out it's pretty late out right now, so it's dark, and I just had the working light, so I look like a ghost right now. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do a first startup, and uh, 
see what happens. I should be able to notice, like, it's about 15 to 20 horsepower difference, so I feel like my butt dyno should be able to pick it up. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's let's do this. <laughs> All right, first start right here. And as you notice, our uh, instrument cluster has suffered a casualty. Pixels decided to ignite some fireworks next to the uh, clock. So that'll be another job for a later date. That's like least of my worries at this time. I have a lot of jobs on all three cars to take care of. So yeah, that's uh, low on the totem pole right now. Well, let's see how this goes. All right guys, well, she's still warming up. She's pretty much warm now, but I think it's safe to say it worked. Uh, I can notice a difference already at uh, low speeds, just going from pickup. Um, it's definitely got a little more giddy up. So yeah, I think we're clear. We're in the clear, 100% went through. Now we just gotta try things out. See my clock's at zero, zero now. Well, it looks like it, <laughs> it's at 10.01, but uh, yeah, I'm just kind of cruising around, getting it warm. Um, might go fill up gas right now. And then let's do some, uh, I'll do a little pull from a dig and I'll do a freeway pull real quick. So check back with you guys in a second. All right guys, I'm not really looking when I'm recording, but I'll do a quick one for you here. We're at about, slow it down a little bit. A little over 20, go ahead and drop it down. Let you guys feel. hill too so <laughs> this thing uh it gets up and goes man it feels good i'll uh pull up to the flat here and we can do a proper one that was just a little baby all right let's try another kick down real quick i gotta pull up to the gas station here on the left but quick one how <laughs> this thing gets up and goes man this thing already impressed me. You guys know from watching the videos, but this thing already impressed me as is, just being as heavy as it is and damn near, what, 22 years old now? This thing impresses, um, but this tune, I can tell has just woken up the power band that much more. It feels very good. Give you guys a little outside scenery right now while we pull up and fill up gas. She's drinking her fuel. It's gonna be a little heavier, but that's okay. <clears throat> Man, trusty old SUV. This thing needs some love right now. It's got uh, some uh, falling happening on outside edges of the tires. Needs an alignment. It's getting one in a couple days. What else? Uh, still needs that door actuator fixed and just overall front side I need uh, to restore these headlight lenses I have the butyl tape and everything I'm gonna take these off and fully refinish them but besides that she's holding up almost nearing 170,000 miles and still guzzling the gas all right 80 bucks later let's get the show on the road all right wish i brought the camera mount with me but i didn't so these kind of shots will have to do i'm gonna go uh out on the freeway somewhere and just do a quick uh pull and a couple exits on the way home and i'll do a little dig here on the way out see how it feels hopefully i'll catch a red light and dig up to the speed limit there's all kinds of police around here so i can't go too crazy but uh yeah we'll, we'll keep it safe keep it at the speed limit but we'll go fast to the speed limit on a side note we got good cold weather for the engine but i'm cold right now i got the seat warmers going 51 degrees feels a little colder outside but yeah good weather for uh, intake temperatures <laughs> My god, dude. Let's 
let's keep the fun going. Uh, we could do a quick one here. The ESP off. Won't go too fast. Let's go up to the speed limit. definitely got a little more pep in her step I will say that for sure I don't think I need the uh, read ECU numbers to know I've driven this car enough definitely feels like he's got more pickup anyways we got the low speed stuff out of the way let's go uh, hop on the freeway real quick try to do like a I don't know jump on the freeway and go to go to 80 or so or just see how it feels from 60 to 80 60 to 90 I know you people in other places where they don't care about speeding are probably laughing but yeah if you get caught doing those speeds up here you're in trouble so I'm not trying to get in trouble it's a work night <laughs> just trying to see how it feels sick Porsche all right about to hop on the freeway now this will give us a good judgment as well of what has changed uh, up higher in the miles per hour range. So let's see. I can feel just like when I'm subtly pressing the gas. Um, and I, I still do have the sprint booster. I know people will ask. Um, but the throttle is even more responsive. well you saw the results for now uh, that's where i'll leave it i'm gonna check back in with you guys probably tomorrow and i'll let my wife and son uh be the other judges if they can feel a difference or not um again this is you know it's a stage one tune so it's maybe 20 horsepower and 20 torque or so so you're not going to notice like night and day but for me i can definitely notice like it woke up the power band throughout and it just feels more ready to go, especially at the lower RPM. It's really noticeable. Um, so I'm I'm happy with it. Big shout out to Tony. Much love. Um, couldn't ask for a better uh, partner and sponsor to be working with and learning from. Just in this process alone, I learned a lot of working with ME 2.0, much different than the 2.8. It wasn't easy as it would be on the 2.8, ME 2.8, but um, it's doable and it's probably going to be different sounds like for all me 2.0 some of them will take without much trouble and some of them will be like this one and, and need a little more uh coercing i guess to make it happen so yeah it's late it's a work night for me so i'll catch you guys manana all right guys just wanted to interrupt the tune video real quick to give a special shout out to hand cooked tires in linwood we were just doing an alignment on the ML. The rear toe was really bad. I mentioned it before in a video, but the outside tires on the rear were wearing down. Um, so figured it was toe and definitely was. You can see here, it was uh, pretty out of spec on the top and they got it pretty close. Um, everything, the rear is really good. The front is, the left front tie rod was a little bit seized. So he got it to adjust a little bit, but didn't want to push it any further so that's something i can replace and have it realigned but 
the ticket for a test drive and everything uh, already feels good. So he said if it's a problem, just replace it and we'll go from there. But yeah, special shout out, awesome place. And uh, shout out, I believe it was Lewis who uh, recommended it. Lewis on 28, is that what it is? Um, special recommendation from them. So I always look for like a good alignment shop to go to. And the last one I had been going to, uh, they're not around anymore. So it's good to find a good place with decent prices and, you know, trustworthy staff. So this was 170 out the door and did a really good job. So I'm impressed. It was fast, clean shop, knowledgeable people, all you could really ask for. Anyways, back to the scheduled programming. Let me update you guys with what we've experienced so far with the tune on the M155. Back to the tune. Uh, let's hear from my wife first off. What were your thoughts about the tune? Was it noticeable? Yeah, to me it was. It we'll, the... we'll pop her text message on screen right now. <laughs> what did you say? I said the ML55 purrs and Mama go through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and overall experience, so it's noticeable to you? To me it is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of the same boat you guys saw when I drove it that night. It's kind of like, did it work and then it felt like it works and then after she told me that too and she noticed it and I was like yeah it's definitely different and then driving it today again I can tell definitely it just feels like it's not a big enough power jump to where it feels like night and day different but it's enough to notice like it's just easier to get going pretty much uh, funny too the guy that did the test drive after they aligned it he came back and he was like, is that thing tuned? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I just tuned it two days ago. And then he was like, I couldn't daily drive that thing. I would get in too much trouble. And then we should have said, my wife does. <laughs> <laughs> TCM tune soon. That was unplanned, but that was a good segue. So anyways, I was doing manual shift right there, but tried to shift out of first. But you have to do it like a whole second before, otherwise we'll hit the limiter like you guys saw and heard. Um, so yeah, uh, I talked to Tony today. Once I get some downtime that we know we're not gonna have to use this thing, then I'll send it out to him. should be like a three-day process basically I'll send it out and then I'll get to him and he can do what he needs to do to the TCM and send it back the same day and hopefully it'll get back here the next day so maybe like a three-day process so we'll be down without this one my wife said she's down to drive the E420 for a few days so because she's cool and nice and she loves me and I love her so, yeah, then we'll be able to shift faster and maybe we can go through manual mode a little quicker than like a whole second and a half delays in between shifts. When it's in automatic mode, it doesn't seem that slow, but definitely manual shift, it's delayed. All right, guys, we're almost home now and uh, figured I'll just end it here. Uh, definitely going to have another video. Maybe we can go to our little private road and we'll do some zero to 60 times try to compare it with what we got in the last videos that you guys saw of the C55 versus this car. So yeah, stay tuned for more. And like I said, transmission tune also coming up. If you guys have any questions about how to do any of this, or if you have ME 2.0, five liter, 5.4, anything like that, 
Uh, just let me know if you got any questions for tuning. Yeah, we'll leave it there. See you guys on the next one. Peace.